Hey, welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. Today's review, we're going to look at the Amiga Donner, which I do believe they're actually calling this the Donner 22 now. And this comes to us by way of Itsua. Itsua, which you can find at Itsua. Itsuasig.com. So what we're going to do, peeps, is we're going to go down to the table shop. We're going to check this thing out up close and personal. I'll break it down for you, give you some info on it. Then we'll come back up here and have ourselves a big vape session. But before we go down to the table shop, I must point out, I did receive this free of charge for purpose of conducting a review. In my opinion, the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. Let's have a quick two. Okay, so here's the packaging that the Amigo Donner comes in. Now, of course, on the back side here, get a little bit of a warning here, which I want to just show this up close here. It says, warning, this is an advanced user item. The atomizer is 0 0.5 ohms. Please use with 20 amp limit or higher. High drain lithium ion batteries. So there you go. Finally, a solid warning on a sub ohm tank. Very good, Itsua. I'm very impressed with that right on the box. And, of course, down here at the bottom, they've got the www.itsuasig.com because that's where it's made. And this is going to be a 22 mil atomizer. So what do we get in the box? We get a little color pamphlet explaining the Donner 22, which we're going to go over. We get a limited six-month warranty. We get an additional coal head. That's 0.5 ohms. And we get a little blue screwdriver. Now you might be wondering, why have they included a little blue screwdriver in this? Well, I'm going to show you here in just a minute. And we also get the Donner tank. Okay, so here is the Donner 22. Now, this is going to be a 22 mil atomizer. And from the base of the 510, that all the way to the top of this drip tip is 78.5 millimeters. Let me show you. Okay. Now we've got the got the old place there. And There you go, 78.5, that might be upside down, but I can see it as 78.5. <clears throat> now, of course, on the Donner tank, you've got the Amigo Atsua uh, etched on there, and on the opposite side, you have Donner. <clears throat> Removable drip tip. Stainless steel construction. Pyrex uh, glass tank. You can see is uh, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. And you've got uh, really good uh, O-ring sealment here. This is, this is the kind of O-rings that I like because when you put it in there, it stays put. It's not going to fall off. And the other thing is, too, there's no glue. So that's what makes this a really good, solid type of O-ring to use on a style tank like this. Now, of course, here we have the base, which has our uh, 
0.5 ohm coil head. Now, this to me looks like the Atlantis coil head, and I don't have any on hand to compare it to. So maybe when we get back up to main camera view, I'll actually have one that we can compare it to. And that's going to be the inside there. Now, of course, down here on the bottom side, we have an AFC. And this is going to open up right there. It's a pretty large Cylon style airflow slot. Okay. I don't call it a Cyclops slot because it's not an oval eye. That is like Cylon style from Doctor Who. That's going to be. one millimeter across by point four in height so one one millimeter by point four in a Cylon style airflow slot now, the AFC is a little bit, it's a little bit on the loose end. It's a little bit on the loose end, so it might actually slip on you. Uh, now, of course, they've got another one of those O-rings here. It's in the base there. And now this is where... This is where the little blue screwdriver comes into play. This right here is adjustable. Can actually adjust this out to where you can put this like on hybrid style mods that has a hybrid style top cap. You can adjust that out to where it will uh, work on whatever whatever mod you're using it on. Now, of course, this is going to be a, I believe that is a stainless steel uh, connection. Or for the pin, I mean, stainless steel pin. So, basically, it's fairly simple. You're going to uh, you're gonna juice up your coil head like you would any other sub ohm coil head. And you're going to put your Pyrex tank on here. Fill this up. This does take 4 mils worth of juice. So it's a 4 mil tank. And then once you have it all together, you simply screw it into base here. And you've completed the uh, Donner 22. So I'm going to juice this up, and we'll go back up to main camera view, and we'll show it in action. All right, my peeps, now we're back to main camera view, and there is the Donner tank. Donner 22. Look at that. Now, currently, I have this on the iFancy, which is also by Etsua. Uh, now, let's, let's talk a little bit about this again. This is 303 stainless steel. It's it comes with this drip tip here, which at the top there, you can see that they've kind of it's kind of got like an outgoing top. But I've had no issue with putting any of my own drip tips on the Donner tank. Um, this drip tip, what does this drip tip measure out it, as far as the circumference goes? Or the diameter, I should say. Let's see, what do we got here? We got... Hmm. Actually, I should measure it from this side. The top of it is one millimeter across. Now, the bottom, 
where it counts is going to be 0.6. Uh, yeah, so 0.6 millimeters across. So it's a pretty good wide board drip tip. And, of course, Pyrex glass tank. It's got the big, the big thick O-rings in it, which is very nice for this style tank. Uh, it's got the, uh, the massive Cylon airflow, like I pointed out. You know, the interesting thing is, is that, I mean, I can get past the, uh, the little engravings in this upper section here. Uh, that's basically knurling. So even though it adds to the looks of the tank, it helps whenever you're taking it apart. So that's a nice feature to have. And the, uh, the pin... The pin is that non that non adjustable pin. At least I think it is. If I remember correctly. No, that's right. That's adjustable. That's why they put the blue screwdriver in there. You know what I'm thinking. So the pin is adjustable with that little blue screwdriver or a little screwdriver around. It's flathead, so uh, let's vape it. Now, something that I can confirm is that the Atlantis coils, the Milo coils, and the Sega Tank coils will all fit universally in this. That means the cool heads that come with these will also fit in uh, any of those tanks that I just mentioned. It's nice to know that the Chinese vendors are starting to put out a universal cool head for majority of the tanks that are out there. And they're not going uh, proprietary, you know. That actually, to me, says... Uh, hey, we understand that vapors have a fixed income. Let's let's do something about budget vaping. So, brilliant. Uh, what else can I say about it? I mean, it's it's a it's a funky looking tank. Now, the only quibble that I have about this is that the the laser etching on the tank itself. Now, I don't know that, I don't believe that any of the other tanks that are out there, the glass tanks that are out there, those are not universally compatible with the dock. And so they've got this engraving, this is not engraving, but laser etching on there, it says Donner, and then on the other side, it says, it says the Amiga at Sua. That's the only quibble I have with this tank. I mean, it's it's a dynamite tank. I've been vaping with it all weekend. I've not had any dry hits whatsoever. And I've been vaping this at 40 watts. 40 watts. That might say that their cool heads, a 0.5 ohm cool head, is actually a little bit better, in my opinion, than the Milo's or the Atlantis, or the Sega tanks. Because I never could reach 40 watts on any of those, the .5 ohm coil heads. I'd always end up with like a, 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 a borderline burning taste. But this, I've not had that issue. Uh, and that begs, to, that begs to answer the question, is it a cotton coil head? Yes, it is a cotton coil head. So without rambling on and having a waffle as Todd would always say, uh, for wholesalers, vendors, resellers that are looking to pick this tank up, which I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend getting this tank, here's the information. You can get in touch with Itsua. And for those of you that are wanting to go check out the other Itsua products, Besides the reviews that I'm going to be posting on them, 
you can go to itsuasig.com and uh, to the fine folks at Itsua, thank you. Very lovely thing. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepets. Happy vaping.